Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Shop. We're back again with a new video by a boy living ironically in Europe. Romania TV was insane. Let's see how insane. But Romania TV is still insane, TV, so... A technological North and neighbor, how are you doing? Information, the <laughs> invention of which made the world hey, a much more comfortable and better informed place. Television <laughs> is truly a staple in humanity's ingenuity and there? technological advancement. And although... God damn, she look good. Television has impacted every culture significantly in Bro? some matter, one way or another. Arguably, its influence had the greatest effect in Romania. Did Although it? television was available in Romania since 1956, the use of the technology was very limited. Hey, it's when the magic stunts. picture box arrived I remember this country, when I was a kid. The nation was very much impoverished damn. and under a totalitarian communist regime, which made the available was that half life? ability and use of it very <laughs> limited. The technology picked up traction relatively in the late 60s and was limited to only two channels. Televisione mm. Romana was one of the first channels and the main one used throughout the years. Up until the 80s, it broadcasted on average 14 hours a day and had a variety only of 14? programming. However, in the 80s, due to the country implementing insane policies to pay off its international debt, Damn. its broadcasting was limited to only 2-3 to three hours Oof. a day, starting from 7pm and ending at 10. The program consisted of a news segment, which was uh -huh. followed by Ceausescu's report on the country's development, and if you were lucky, that does not look that professional. An Eastern Bloc produced movie. However, Damn. as you should know, in the 90s, the communist regime collapsed, and with it, the liberalization of the country, and Finally. Food, as well as the liberalization of Romania's Fuck TV. communism. In the years of 93 and 94, as the country underwent privatization programs, new TV channels started to appear. As uh -huh. the 90s progressed, small TV stations stations popped up all and right TV became open to the public and independent stations and programs became ever so prevalent they produced their own original programming news imported pirated movies from the west <laughs> the dallas american tv series specialized tv stations for uh, music yeah. such as atomic tv atomic which broadcasted TV. local international music and everything and anything in between hey. which made 90s Damn. romania tv although primitive very diverse however <laughs> in the 2000s one of romania's most influential Famous and influential TV stations was born. Oglinda TV, meaning Mirror what? TV, or just OTV for short. O the station was launched by a Romanian media veteran, Dan Diaconescu, who set up a studio in his apartment in the outskirts of Bucharest. Okay. Its main show was Dan Diaconescu Direct, which was a makeshift talk show with extremely amateur production value. <laughs> We're talking about production levels that would make hey, porn seem like. Listen, this is top production, brother. Come on. Good. The show became infamous as it would bring on guests that consisted of so-called spiritual mediums, small-time oh Manele singers, and two-bit gangsters. Oh Essentially man. guys he'd find around his block that would sell <laughs> sniffing glue and low-quality amphetamines. Because the country was impoverished- Hey bro, when I was growing up, sniffing glue was- it kinda took off here when I was. Crazy shit bro, and no joke. the technology available in Actually. Romania was limited, a lot of the programming that ran on OTV from 2000 to 2004 Damn. It's all right for a long time. Media. In Aww. 2002, OTV was shut down by the government due to its trashy program hey, violating the broadcast law at the time. However, Diakonescu claimed there was those then in Italy? that this was a totally motivated attack on him and his station, as the prime minister allegedly wanted to buy the station, but he refused oh. his offer and was abusing his power by taking out revenge on him. As Okay, listen, I don't know if that's exactly what happened, but that sounds like exactly what should ha would happen in the Balkans, okay? It After happens every day. Year imposed sabbatical, no fucks in crazy 2004, here. Diaconescu and OTV came back in full force. The full studio force. was refurbished and the broadcast got a new and shiny More professional? overlay with not one, not two, but three it's new stickers. One at the top Damn. and two at the bottom which will display breaking news. I'm gonna be honest with you, I see these, like nowadays they're a bit less, but they used to be in Bulgaria, they used to be prevalent, to the public, <laughs> especially the bottom one. of sensational titles to draw the uh, attention Next of in, drum, As in tradition bay. at this point, the words incredible, sensational, and extraordinary were often used by Diaconescu himself, mm. which accompanied any hey, breaking news Who's that homie doing? Tickers, even if those news were that Diaconescu went to take a piss. The TV style of the show was Incredible. also mocked continuously by other TV hosts. TV shows such as Animat Planet Show and early Animat Romanian Planet. internet memes. 
In its second rendition, <laughs> OTB's main programming used to run the Conspiracy of the Day and Guests of the Day style shows. There was mm -hmm. no real connection between the subject of Rasputin? each episode except for loose references to previous episodes. Think of it like it was pre-Netflix TV, essentially episodic with distinct episodes you can just start watching in the middle of the season without the need of context from the previous <laughs> In one. the middle of the season, brother. <laughs> Some of the most notable episodes mean? were Diakonescu following ticket inspectors of Bucharest and filming their day-to-day -day routine that and the does fights not sound they that had fun. with uh, fair evaders. The oh, investigation maybe it was fun. the suicide of Romanian businessman Yo? Mihai Erbasu where Diakonescu was tried to recreate his death with a mannequin by throwing it off the balcony <laughs> of a random villa. The whole point what, of the recreation what being you that there... <laughs> There was no possible way for Erbashu to fall onto his head and kill himself. No? Which then transitioned into really? a conspiracy theory that he was murdered. Was th then there the was the dude with the gay frogs that got sued for all his money, I think, because he was a piece of shit. The episode where Diakonescu, alongside a special guest, tried to convince the audience that they could predict the upcoming lottery numbers. Of course, no, they, they weren't able to. And as a result, the TV show and station received <laughs> mass lawsuits from... I mean, if you could predict the lottery numbers, you would not put that out as information you would just win the lottery no public another episode followed diaconescu in the garden of some random villager where Bro, they started digging up listen this type of tv we have this shit people go to random villages small villages in bulgaria and they start talking to the people there about their family drama we have this it involves a lot of fights a lot of swearing a lot of fights combined with swearing and it's absolute brain drain and people love that shit i don't get it his yard only to find a dead body hey, which yo? wasn't even shown on broadcast but everyone what the claimed hell? it was there then there was oh, the it was not there Diaconescu god damn it clairvoyant onto the show who claimed clairvoyant with a deceased romanian dictator nikolai Ceausescu. <laughs> <laughs> The audience was then allowed to ask him questions by sending an SMS to the show, which oh. cost 1.2 euros per message. We used to get these. Any TV show in Bulgaria that had like, uh, you know, Music Idol and stuff like that, where you'd vote for people to win, it always had this. You send an SMS that costs a certain sign of money, and then the person you send the SMS would win. Probably. I don't know. They probably fucking... Yeah, I doubt it worked then, like that, but with that's what they say. And clairvoyant, who can predict the future and read people's minds while like blindfolded the with towels. Then there was also the legendary debate between the can two just culture her with the subgroups, the emos and kokalars. Co Romania's white trash jocks, ah. which ended in a fight in the studio. Wait, aren't jocks supposed to be a little buff, a little muscular? That dude looks like a twink. Between the two representatives. Who's winning? Let's go! Okay, listen. I don't think we can classify. That was like that was a that was a love slap. That was that that was big coitus engagement. That was not a fight. What the hell? And last but not least, <laughs> the episode where the show discussed the economic <gasps> assassination of the Dell cheese products, which were closed because they did not add harmful huh? chemicals in them as ordered by the EU. They even went as far as to make a lament. <laughs> Who lost their grandma? By the mid 2000s, and she taking the drugs she needs. Meds. Changed. As in 2007, oh? a lawyer going by the name of Elodia Ginescu disappeared. And her disappearance became the biggest story every Romanian was talking about at the really? time. She was a former lawyer who disappeared on the 30th of August 2007 okay. under mysterious circumstances. Her Mafia body was stuff? never found and she was declared dead That's in a big ass, uh, The main Grayson. suspect was her husband who was eventually Christian. jailed in 2013 and released in 2023 on parole. While the subject of her disappearance is worthy they of find her? true crime series, the CNA, aka the National Audiovisual Council of Romania, warned all TV stations to be really careful with how they approach yeah, I'm sure this dude was really careful about this, probably tried to recreate her murder or something. Subject. 
<laughs> with However, a dummy. OTB said f*** it and decided to do its own thing. Oh, they went God. with, like any self-respecting clickbait YouTuber, with hundreds of episodes with hundreds. insane titles such as Elodia was Finally we found- wait, 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 no, 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 we're not skipping that. Finally we found her. The OTB helicopter has its engine ready right to take off to- bro, y'all there. Y'all do not have a helicopter, let's be honest. Was Come on, man. Bus in Bratislava. The event we of the year, finally, well, you found her again? Did she get lost again? What is going on? They hacker to break into her inbox and publish all her private conversations. <laughs> finally found and her other again? Such titles. Let's go! Most notably that Elodia was <laughs> on, hiding brother. in the Carpathian Mountains with Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Don't we have video footage of this dude's corpse? Straight up? What do you mean? Yeah. Things went as far as Diakonescu Maybe bringing Tupac's there a as well. bassinet full of sulfuric acid and a cow's leg into the studio to hey, show yo? how Elodia was melted into pieces to dispose of her the evidence. This Wait, whole telenovela like about three times, Elodia's though. disappearance lasted for 240 episodes. Holy! And while every other yo, this dude's an expert at milking. Another TV presenter was bashing the God circus damn. on TV was producing. They took notes. The consequences of OTV's not. programming and their Elodia series <laughs> became far-reaching and became known as the process that is now called the Otevization of Romanian TV. As a vast number of stations in Romania copied Bruh. OTV's methods of broadcast and trashy. Were they actually getting viewers for this, brother? TV. Brain result, drain, Romania, the come on. The broadcast was filled with flashing news stickers, sensationally clickbait titles, hey, but we are the same, brother. And guests screaming at one another just to gain slightly bigger ratings. Even his most trashy programming with seemingly outrageous conspiratorial and outright fake segments were copied. For example, this can be demonstrated with another channel, Antena Uno. Antena made a Uno. A segment covering a Moldovan poltergeist guys terrorizing a village, where they showcased A that demo don't photo guys whilst interviewing the local village oh shit camerele montate în casă au surprins momentul în care un papuc s-a izbit violent de ușă after the Elodia <laughs> horse was beaten to complete in utter mush Diaconescu went back you to got, trading got a new kidding programming me. which Come on, developed brother. into greater and greater absurdism <laughs> this era began with OTV staging an assault on Diaconescu by bringing in someone into the studio who had a big trash container who huh? then wrestled Diaconescu and threw him into it. But then they brought in the then president, Trajan Basescu, to schmooze Diaconescu, which ended with the president holding a lottery and the winner being awarded by him uh, with a bottle of alcohol. Diaconescu even decided that's the most Balkan thing ever. to get into politics by starting his own oh, party. Oh, them. Louis, the people. They always do this. We had this cap in Bulgaria multiple times where some famous news personality, or not even news personality, just goes for the fucking politics. Bro, you already stole everything. 18, $20,000 in cash from them. With his embarking into politics, he then renamed the really? channel Televisione Popurului, aka the People's Television, <laughs> oh, and had God. the staff refer to himself on broadcast as Mr. the President? future president of Romania. Mm. At this point of the video, I'd like to note that this wasn't some He's a friend's schizo channel. Rather, it was one of the most, if not the most viewed channel in Romania at the time. Brain rot. And Otebe's shenanigans were broadcasted on national TV That's crazy, bro. Millions of people turn in monthly to watch the Econesco <laughs> programming. Shit. In 2011, which is considered their peak, they had an average of 84,000 watchers per minute. An Yo. entire middle-sized town watching OTV per minute. That's However, crazy. However, soon start to change. In 2012, mass protests erupted across the country as the government proclaimed they will privatize the Romanian medical system. This scandal was mm. followed by protests over the impeachment of the president at the time, Basescu. OTV not being one to let an oh, opportunity God, pass, what they seized do. the moment and started calling themselves the only free station and the emergency the only free station. station. As you would expect, they start spreading disinformation about railways being cut and that the protesters were asking for Diaconescu to become president. Were of they course, doing these that? Claims huh? weren't even remotely true, and as such, the CNA fined them to high heavens. Due to all the violations and unpaid fines, their broadcasting license was revoked in 2013. Well, they gotta keep the helicopter. What if they find the woman again? Even God damn it. Miles appeals, protests, and a general circus made subsequently over the decision. Oh, there's so many people in there. He tried to circumvent this by establishing a company in the holy city of the Vatican and broadcasting from there. 
This remained an online-only TV stream, as no actual broadcasting company would dare touch <laughs> OTB with a 10-foot pole. The only TV station that ran reruns of the programming was Romania TV, That's another crazy. shitpost of a station that shit today is in the business station. of spreading Russian disinformation. Oh, Soon after OTB was shut down, Diakonescu was convicted of attempted blackmail of a public official oh. and was forced to spend I a was few cheated. years in prison. In a desperate cling to relevancy, he also tried to buy a bankrupt chemical plant and made it his mission to save the workers of the plant. However, he did not have the money to do so, even though he brought huge trash bags full of money to the auction for the plant. Ult what about the helicopter, brother? Ultimately, his efforts were for naught and OTV never recovered. Yakonescu throughout the 2010 slowly but surely became irrelevant and only mentioned at parties and gatherings amongst friends in the context <laughs> of holy shit remember when this was a thing on TV? But <laughs> even though Otebe has become a Bro, he was relevant for a long ass time though that, that's right, crazy. Guys, it is still something that left a huge impact on the nation's media and entertainment industry with many stations and programs implementing Diakonescu's infamous tactics. Although Otebe is no longer running their shenanigans are still, still? talked about to this day, and the few clips that exist on YouTube <laughs> from their golden days Stop. are still a <laughs> only two facts missing from the album. Right? Come on, man. Romanian meme culture. Oh my Do god. Doresc să spun, draga Diaconescu, oriunde ai fi tu, glorie eterna a partidului popurului Dan Diaconescu. Doamne ajută. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. What? If you did, did someone a, like, a demon? What happened there? Subscribe button. And if you really did, become a member like these one. Okay, that was crazy. I thought this shit was just Bulgaria. I thought we did this crazy shit here, but I guess not. Romania? I mean, y'all are close. You're on the border. Makes sense. <laughs> if you are from any country that's done this shit, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious which other. Probably all Balkans did this, I assume. Anyway, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. <laughs>